Hi everyone, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife and today we've come to Beaufort Southern Park just outside of Norwich. Now, this is actually the second time that I've been to Beaufort Southern Park. The last time I came here, um, it was really sunny and I actually ended up getting into the river and doing some underwater filming and got some amazing footage. But, in my excitement, I forgot to do an intro video. So I've come out this evening to do the intro. I brought my DSLR with me as well, so we're gonna take a look around, see if we can't find some more species, and I'll show you the great footage that I got the other day as well. Let's go and see. Beaufort Southern Park and its surrounding area is mainly made up of wet grazing meadows, which are used year round for cows and horses. It was while scanning these meadows that I spotted some movement behind a tall tussock of grass around 200 metres away. This one metre tall, long legged and long necked bird is a grey heron. They are armed with a large and pointed beak which helps them to catch their food. Although people usually associate herons with eating fish, this is often only a small part of their diet. They also eat mammals, birds, amphibians and reptiles too. This one seems to be stalking through the grass in search of a meal. Notice how it takes large deliberate steps and then pauses between them, holding completely still. If it sees an animal, it will stab its neck forward impale its prey and then swallow it whole. Despite their gangly appearance, Herons are surprisingly nimble and can balance pretty well amongst the fragile top branches of trees. In the spring, herons build their nests in these top branches and sometimes several pairs will nest together in what is known as a heronry. Separating the wet meadows, and thankfully me from the cows, is a stretch of the upper reaches of the River Yare. In the past I have filmed in the river further downstream, but this time I decided the only way to get the footage that I wanted was to get into the water and film the fish up close and personal. I don't own a wetsuit, so please excuse my pale torso here. At first the fish were cautious of me and kept their distance, but over time they began to get used to me being there and started to come over to have a closer look. These green striped fish are young European perch. Their tails, pectoral and anal fins are a bright orange colour, whilst their large dorsal fins are pointed and striped. When their dorsal fins are held down to their bodies, they look pretty plain, but when they erect this fin, it has a large, dark eye spot. These eye spots work in the same way that an eye spot works on the wing of a butterfly, to confuse predators into thinking that they are much larger than they actually are. Perch are a very common species, and are sometimes targeted by specialist and general coarse anglers. These fish here are only around 10 centimeters long, but they can grow to nearly two foot in length and weigh up to three kilos. They are native to the UK and most of mainland Europe, but have been introduced to various places around the world so that people can fish for them. Unsurprisingly, this hasn't always gone too smoothly and they are now classed as an invasive species in Australia, 
New Zealand and some parts of South Africa. Like all of the other freshwater fish in the UK, perch are egg layers. From early spring to midsummer, they spawn amongst aquatic vegetation and each female produces hundreds of sticky eggs. Because of their sticky nature, perch eggs can get stuck to the legs of wading birds and it is through this method that perch are often one of the first fish colonisers to new water bodies. Perch are carnivores and have large mouths with sharp teeth. When they are small they feed on aquatic invertebrates and insects that fall into the water, but as they grow bigger they become more active predators, eating a wide range of smaller fish. This includes the young of their own species and they have even been seen eating small amphibians. When I filmed slightly further downstream, into the shallows, I found lots of potential prey for big perch. Here there are a mix of minnows, gudgeon, small roach and even one or two very small perch. So aside from the grass and the river yeah, that runs alongside here, there are actually a couple of man-made ponds on Beaufort Southern Park. And would it be one of my videos if I didn't include some footage of damselflies? <laughs> All along the sunlit shallow margins of these man-made ponds, there are groups of blue damselflies. There are several similarly looking species in the UK, but I can tell that these are the common blue damselfly, as they have dark markings on the first section of their backs that are shaped like a baby mushroom. The adult damselflies die off at the end of September, so these individuals are all in a hurry to mate. This pair here may have already mated and now the male is keeping hold of the female until she lays her eggs. During the actual mating, the female will raise the tip of her abdomen to meet the underside of the male's thorax. It is from here that he will pass his sperm to the female and fertilisation will occur. The shape that the two adults form when mating is called a mating heart or sometimes a mating wheel. Well, unfortunately that's all we've got time for today. If you have enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.